Welcome to the boob tube. Another big controversy is flax. I always say flax is the new soy. And guess what? Breast thermography research is proving with your breasts, not just with one patient, with thousands of patients, that flax, a phytoestrogen, is increasing your risk for breast cancer because 80% of breast cancers are fed by estrogen. Surprised? You won't be. A popular cure for breast cancer that several of my patients have wanted to try is the Budwick diet. So let me explain first how a breast thermogram works. Thermography monitors the blood vessels in the breast. We're looking for increased risk which is vascularity or stimulation of the existing blood vessels. And we're also monitoring for neoangiogenesis, which is new blood vessel growth. So thermography is only screening. When I see dramatic changes in the breast, that patient has to go on to further imaging, like a MRI with contrast, mammogram, or ultrasound. So this is an example of a particular patient who is monitoring her cancer by trying to cure it with the Budwig diet. Well, first of all, I have to warn them, flax is a plant estrogen. And you have a breast cancer that is fed by estrogen. But if you want, that's what you are choosing to do, then we will monitor that treatment for you. That is one example of several hundreds I've seen for the last 10 years and why I am shouting at the top of my lungs, flax increases risk. It does not block, it does not cure estrogen, keep this in mind, estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. All cancers are different. They all need to be evaluated and treated differently. So this case, it doesn't work for estrogen receptor breast cancer. And for more information, read our book because we walk you through how these flax studies are manipulated, how they are lying to you and deceiving you when it comes to breast cancer and estrogen dominance. Breast Cancer Bootcamp, Dr. Hobbins, Breast Thermography Revolution.